Right, I'm going to show you how to play a few notes on the saxophone now. As I'm sitting down again, I shall be holding the saxophone to the right of my body. Now, the basic principle behind playing different notes on the saxophone is all the way down we have lots of holes in the saxophone which are open and closed by the use of keys. This is effectively changing the length of the tube of the instrument that is actually working. So as we press more keys down, we're making the tube longer and we get a lower note. The first note I'm going to show you is the note B. Now, you'll find all these keys on the saxophone look very complicated, but we don't have to really do too much messing around with our hands. There are three buttons at the, the bottom, which the right hand fingers will be going on, and three buttons at the top, which the left hand fingers will be playing. Now, to make things a little bit more complicated, there are actually more than three. There's a little button there in the middle, which we can ignore for now. And just above these three, there is an extra one which might be difficult to see on this saxophone because instead of being mother of pearl like the rest, it's brass. But on a lot of saxophones, this would look like another mother of pearl key. So if we count these three up from the bottom, one, two, ignore the little one, then the third one up is the one we want to press now. This is the B key. The first finger of the left hand will be playing this key. Now you don't have to press too hard at all, just as long as the pad closes. You, if you really force down on it, you'll be wasting an awful lot of energy and it'll slow your playing down. So, remember how we were holding the saxophone before? The right thumb underneath the thumb guard there, left thumb on the button at the back. Now this finger on that first button and mouthpiece in the mouth, tongue on the reed, say the syllable T and blow. Now, I just like to remind you about what we were doing with the mouth. The top teeth were on the top of the mouthpiece, and the lip was cushioning the bottom teeth, but actually applying a little bit of pressure there. Now, if you weren't able to get a note then, there could be several reasons. Um, you may have been blowing too hard or pinching, pushing too much with your jaw, which would be completely closing that, the reed against the mouthpiece and no air could get in. Or else maybe you weren't pressing hard enough and the reed wasn't vibrating. It could be that you haven't got a very good reed. Now this unfortunately is a problem with saxophones. You never know whether you're getting a good reed or a bad reed. You can sometimes tell by looking at it if it looks fairly symmetrical, it could be a good reed. If it looks warped or twisted, it's probably a bad reed and won't work. Best to buy several reeds at one time, then you can try them out. And a good tip is to soak them first before playing them. You can dip them in a glass of water for a minute or two, or just soak it in your mouth. One possible problem, if you bought a second-hand saxophone, is the mouthpiece may be totally unsuitable for learning on, which could mean that it would be much too difficult to play if the gap between the reed and the mouthpiece is too big. Another thing that could be wrong is the saxophone itself may need overhauling or repairing. The only way of you really knowing this is to take it to a good repairer and they should tell you. Right, we'll just try playing that note again. This time I want you to, while you're playing it, concentrate on the note, that is, listen to it. The reason for this is I want you to think of this not as a purely mechanical process, but we're actually now playing music. Even though there's only one note, we want to think about that note as something beautiful. The only way you're ever going to get a beautiful sound, or a nasty sound if you want to get a nasty sound, whatever it is you want to get out of the saxophone, you've got to listen to it to end up getting the sound you want to get. So this time, play the note and concentrate on what you're hearing. Remember the tongue. Now, the best way of practicing your tone is to just play long notes, which is what we just did. And to me, this is always the most important part of any practice. If I don't get much time to practice, then at least I'll practice some long notes, because I think this is so important, I can't say it enough. The sound of the saxophone, to me, is the most important part of it. Anyway, there's your note B. We'll uh, 
go on to playing a few more notes now. The next note, as we'll go down the instrument, is the note A. Now to play the A, keeping the first finger on the B key, ignore the little button for now, and the next one down, we put the second finger of the left hand on there. Once again, don't press too hard, there's no need to. And this is the note A. One more note while we're thinking about the left hand is the note G. The third finger of the left hand on the next button down. There we have the first three notes of the saxophone that I'm going to teach you, B, A and G.